Brooke is one of my favorite companies when it comes to accessories. These guys do a lot of different things, but they're most well known, I think, for their little converters, their controller converters. And they make them for all sorts of different consoles, retro systems, new stuff, and I, I think they do an excellent job. And they, they always like keep these things up to date, like put out new firmware updates to add features and stuff. And I'm holding this one. This one's one of, one of my favorites here, the Wingman Converter SD. This for the Dreamcaster, the Saturn. The reason I love this is, hey, you could use arcade sticks on those consoles, not have to worry about buying an old, expensive arcade stick you could use one of your newer ones, use a keyboard on the Dreamcast, that kind of thing. Uh, this is pretty awesome, one of my favorites. And like I said, they, they make a lot of these uh, for older consoles and new stuff as well. And the one that I wanna talk about today I think is gonna be really popular. And actually, I mean, I've seen pre-orders at a lot of places selling out and going through different waves, but this is the Brook FGC. So this is the fighting stick converter for the PS5. So they sent this to me a while ago for purpose of review and I've been kind of messing around with it. When they first sent it to me, it was just the dongle. I didn't get the retail packaging or manual or anything. So I'd hit them up like, hey, uh, is there a manual? Like, what do I need to know here? Is there some kind of secrets, some tricks? They're like, it's just plug and play. Just plug the thing in and, and try it. Like, what do you want from us? I, like, I want a manual. Like, I, want, I know there's other features here. So there are other features and this was like an early model. Um, they're coming out pretty soon. They will be in retail packaging if you pre-order them. They do have their manual online right now, which goes over a few different functions. So I did print it, just take a look. Uh, they have like the corresponding buttons, stuff like that. Uh, turbo functionality, how to you know change the frequency and set turbo. And then button remapping, which is really important, I think. Uh, in case you have an arcade stick that just doesn't, it's not mapped properly, it's wired weird or something. I don't know, you could use this function and wind up remapping. So the reason this is important is, you know, with PS5, there's a lot of arcade sticks out there that just don't work with it because they're not licensed for the PlayStation 5. Like if you have an officially licensed PS5, PS4, you know, arcade stick, yeah, sure, you could use it, but there's tons of them out there. Like the things I really like, like the Mayflash F500 Elite, this does not work on the PS5. I've got it plugged in, got it in PlayStation mode, does, does nothing, it's plugged in, right? But as these guys said, hey dude, this is just plug and play. So this is, that's what we're gonna do. Now there is supposed to be two firmwares for this thing. So I know some people may be concerned. Uh, you know, Brooke, they're really big in the, the fighting game community there. Uh, but the two firmwares from what I understand is like tournament like enabled where you don't have any extra functionality, no turbo settings, no you know macros or, or button configurations. Uh, that kind of thing, and then you have the firmware that allows all that stuff. So I have it plugged in. The uh, blue light is solid. I'll press the PS button, and now we are in it to win it. I think that's pretty awesome. So, you know, th this kind of stuff to me is really important when you have a collection of arcade sticks, new console comes out, you know, PlayStation 5 has been out for a while, uh, but you know, a new system comes out, you, you don't wanna immediately get an arcade stick type of thing. Uh, these are options, and Brooke does an excellent job with that. So I want to show that. Playing uh, the Street Fighter VI uh, open beta right now, and you know what, my impressions, I know that's not really what this video is about, but you know, I, I do have a lot to say about this game. I've played the demo, played this open beta. Um, at first, like, I, I don't know why I was confused. Like, you see up here I have the C for classic control scheme. Like at first I, I couldn't figure out how to get it off of the modern. I hate the modern control scheme. It's just like button mastering. Like, I don't know how any of that works. It's just like a few buttons doesn't work right. I want the six button layout that we normally have. Now I have it on classic and as you've seen, I just plugged this in, no configuration or anything. I got my low punch, my medium and my high. Low kick, medium, high kick type of thing, right? Now let's check out doing a, a button remap if nobody jumps in real quick. So. Uh, instructions are based on PS4 controller. Enter settings mode, press option and PS key. So, okay. Now it turned red up there, if you could see it. The light turned red, and then it says choose a function button and just press it. So I'm gonna do light punch. Pressed it. Now I have to hold share and then press the button I wanna like change it to. So I'll say low kick, just so it's immediately obvious. Uh, release all buttons and then press options to save. 
and then press the PS key and it goes back to blue. So it went back to blue. Let's see. So low kick, medium kick, high kick. This sh this was low punch, should be low kick now. Oh, there we go, that worked. So that, that definitely comes in handy. If your controller is a little weird and you need to rearrange things, you could do that with the system, have profiles set up, all that good stuff. Uh, but for me, I, I didn't need to do anything. My controller just worked out the box, just plug and play straight into the system. But now to clear it, it says to enter setup, hit options in the PS key, erase all settings, uh, press share and options. Okay. And then press the PS key. Okay, now we are back to normal. So that is that is nice. Now, what about turbo? How do we do turbo? So turbo functionality. There's a couple different instructions here. To enter setting mode, press share and PS key. So I couldn't get the uh, turbo set as a match just jumped in, but essentially it's the same way as doing the button reconfiguration. So yeah, I, I really do think um, this is an excellent little adapter, low latency. Brook is very well respected and known in the fighting game community, the retro gaming community, just all around. Uh, they do amazing stuff. And, you know, I've, I've seen their interactions on social media as well where, hey, they, um, you know, somebody will say, hey, could you add this functionality or add support for this controller type of thing? And they're very responsive to that. And, you know, if things make sense, they wind up working on it. If people ask for it and it's feasible, they get it going, man. So that's really cool, in my opinion. I really enjoy the stuff that these guys do. I've bought plenty of their devices, but hey, I am appreciative that they let me uh, check this thing out a little early. You know, there's a lot of these fighting games coming out very soon. Street Fighter VI right around the corner. Tekken 8. Freaking Mortal Kombat 1, right? So a lot, a lot to look forward to for people. And, you know, there's a lot of these sticks out there. I really like this uh, F500 Elite. It gets the job done for me. And I can, you know, use it across the board. Plenty of different devices with all these different adapters and whatnot. But, yeah, there you go. I'll put all the links down below. Um, it's where you could pre-order, purchase. Uh, look at the, the controller compatibility. Right now, they have on their list over 60 different arcade sticks that's compatible with this on the PS5. So that's really awesome. That list should grow over time if there's something out there that they missed. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Really do appreciate it. Just wanna keep this one quick, just showcasing, hey, it works. It was plug and play. There you go. Catch you on next one. Bye.